Hey everyone, welcome back to Jukebox. This is the first video in a three-part series where we'll be creating an entire wedding invitation suite for a vintage-inspired destination wedding. Our designs revolve around some of the original flight ticket designs that Pan American Airlines once used sometime around the 1960s. We've adapted some of the design elements, ink colors, and paper stocks to help replicate this as closely as possible. We'll also be creating five different print pieces, so this is one of our most involved videos yet. We'll also be taking a look at some of the original flight ticket designs from Pan Am that they used in their golden years. So stick around and enjoy the show. The bulk of today's video will focus on screen printing with a bit of die cutting too. So let's start by looking at the film we'll be using to burn our artwork onto our screens. We'll be burning four different screens to create a folder, a boarding pass booklet, and a set of custom envelopes. Today our talented press operator Vincent will be taking care of every step. We've gone ahead and pre-coated our screens using Murakami T9 Emulsion on a screen with a mesh count of 250 threads per inch. Vincent is going to start off by placing the first film negative face down on the back side of the screen. Next, he'll place the screen onto our vacuum bed LED exposure unit. Placing a small rope from the inside of the screen's frame to the outside will help the vacuum bed to properly seal and maximize the contact of the screen and negative against the glass in the exposure unit. A tight seal is necessary to ensure the artwork is reproduced as cleanly and sharply as possible. Vincent is going to expose all four screens today for a total of two minutes each under the LED light. During the exposure, the emulsion that is dried to the screen will harden while the emulsion that is blocked out by the film negative will remain water soluble. The next stage is to wash away the unexposed emulsion, which will create the areas where the ink will pass through the screen mesh when we print. Vincent is going to wet each screen and then use a power washer to effectively remove all the unexposed emulsion. Here's a closer look at our screen. Vincent is now going to set up the screen to print and start mixing our water-based inks to make that beautiful Pan Am blue. Because the emulsion doesn't coat the screen all the way to the edge, a tape is applied so that the excess ink doesn't bleed through the edges while Vincent is working. He's 
going to make his very first print onto a sheet of mylar that he will then use to line up and register the positioning for his sheets of paper. This mylar transparency also helps to register multiple colors when needed. With our paper set up and our guides in place, we're ready to pull our first flood of ink. Vincent will check for straightness and then start printing. With each pull of the squeegee, Vincent is applying an even pull of pressure and then flooding the screen with ink for each successive pass. Each sheet is placed on a drying rack when finished. On to the next screen. This print piece will be the cover of the boarding pass booklet. We've set this one up as a two-up print to maximize the use of paper.
Using the Mylar overlay, we can quickly and accurately position the screen and the registration guides to match up exactly where the second color should land. A closer look at the registration marks shows us that we're accurately landing the placement of each sheet. For the final screen printed piece, the envelopes, we've decided to die cut the paper before we print the information onto them. Vincent is going to set up our custom steel rule die in the press to cut out the individual envelopes. The design of this envelope features a zipper perforation for easy opening. In order to make the score lines in the die cut envelope, Vincent is going to use a product known as creasing matrix to make the channel scores. The creasing matrix is fixed onto each piece of score rule and tapered at a 45 degree angle on each end. Doing so leaves room for perpendicular score lines to meet without issue. Tapering demands also helps to make a cleaner final product, as sometimes the creasing matrix will cause the paper to distort when butted up against a cutting rule. Creasing matrix comes in countless different depths, widths, and heights to accommodate the wide variety of paper stocks that are used in print and packaging. The creasing matrix adheres to the die jacket when the press closes. The carrier for the matrix is removed, and the matrix that is left acts to form the paper with a deboss, which creates each score.
The correct creasing matrix is required to pair with not only the paper stock that you're working with, but also with the rule height of the cutting rule. I'll talk more about this in a dedicated die cutting video in the future. There are a lot of specifics and numbers to go over that we just don't have time to cover today. We're also going to skip over the die cutting make ready steps, so if you have any specific questions, feel free to ask away in the comments. While we're here at the press, we're also going to die cut the custom folders we printed from our first screen. Vincent will set up the die, make ready, and creasing matrix in the exact same manner in order to shape the paper into a beautiful folder. Now we're ready to bring the blank envelopes back to our screen print station to add the return address and mailing address. We have a set of five different names burned into this screen and Vincent will be blocking off four of them at a time in order to step and repeat the names as needed. The Mylar overlay helps to quickly position each step and each name.
Okay, so let's take another look at the print pieces we've created today. We have a folder, an envelope, and the front cover of our baggage check booklet. In part two of this wedding suite series, we'll be using all letterpress printing techniques to create the formal wedding invitation, as well as the inner pages of the baggage check booklet. If you have any questions for me or Vincent, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.